In this video, I will show you how you can send the WhatsApp messages in bulk automatically to all your customers directly from the Google Sheet. So here you can notice I have the data of around 200 customers in this spreadsheet to whom I want to send the WhatsApp messages. And for this, I will use this Ultra Message application. And this application actually allows you to send the WhatsApp messages. So simply create a free account in this application and log into the dashboard. And in order to automate the process of sending the WhatsApp messages directly from Google Sheets, I just need to build a connection in this Google Sheets application and in Ultra Message application, which I am going to do with the help of a software called as Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation software, and it is really a very cost effective software. Okay, so I am an existing user, so that is why I am already logged in. You can also create your free account account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation okay so once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli Connect now click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so I have directly pasted the name as send whatsapp messages in bulk from google sheets now after providing the name simply click on create button and then you will find two boxes so these boxes are actually called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in the first application then automatically do this in the next application okay so this is how you need to always select the application in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case whenever the data of customer is added in google sheets application then automatically send the message the whatsapp message using ultra message application okay so let me search for the same that is ultra message okay so this is how you need to always select the application in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so now the idea here is i'm going to connect both the applications one by one with the pabli connect okay so let us first connect to google sheets with pabli connect so firstly i will select the trigger even that is new or updated spreadsheet row so i want that whenever the data is added or if the data is already added in this spreadsheet that data should be first captured via pabli connect for that we will have to build a connection in the spreadsheet and pabli connect okay so which i am going to do with the help of this webhook url so as soon as you will select the application and the trigger event you will receive this webhook url along with a few set of instructions okay so you will have to read these instructions carefully and follow them one by one okay so firstly i will copy this webhook url then i will go back to my spreadsheet and here i will click on this extension but before i visit this section let me first delete my first row data okay so i have deleted the same now i will click on extension clicking on add-ons clicking on get add-ons and here firstly i will search for the pabli connect to webhooks add-on okay so let me search for the same that is pabli connect to web books add-on and you will notice that this add-on is already installed in my account because i have created automation basically i have created a lot of automation previously okay but whenever you are building this connection you will always have to install this add-on firstly because after that you will again have to click on extension and then you will have to open the same add-on from here and this will be only visible when you will install it okay now simply click on this initial set up and here exactly you will have to paste the same webhook url which you have received via pabli connect okay so i have copied the same let me for now close this landing page okay so this was my spreadsheet let me first remove this existing data and now i will paste the same webhook url and now it is asking for the trigger column okay so first to read the instructions that the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url okay so basically it is asking to provide
provide a column name on filling of which this automation should trigger or we can say the data should be sent to Papli Connect okay so my data will go up to C column so that is why I will add the trigger column as C now I'll click on the send test button and you will notice that the same data basically the Google Sheets data will be received as a webhook response and in front of you the response is already arrived basically this is the data of first row okay so let me show you first I will submit it and then I will close it okay so you will notice that the setup configured successfully clicking on close and in first row I have the data as dummy user and this dummy number and this dummy email address okay so let me show you the same data here you can notice the same whatsapp number the same trigger column the same spreadsheet name and here we have the same email id and the customer name okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our spreadsheet and Pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay and here let me tell you these are the dummy whatsapp number this is just a dummy data okay but when i will send the whatsapp message i will replace one of the number with my genuine whatsapp number so that i can show you i will be able to show you how whatsapp messages will be received on your customer's whatsapp number okay but currently we will go with the same dummy data okay so coming back to Pabli connect and the first step of our automation is done and let me tell you one more thing whenever you are building a connection in spreadsheet and Pabli connect to make sure that you either work into the incognito window or multiple gmail accounts should not be logged in at the same time into the same tab okay i am repeating this thing once again either work in the incognito window or multiple gmail account should not be logged in in the same type at the same time okay so i hope you have understood and another important thing i would like to tell you is that if you want this automation to work in real time now here real time means that your spreadsheet is blank and let's say you are adding the data one by one in your spreadsheet and as soon as you are adding a new row this automation should trigger or you can see the whatsapp messages should be sent and in real time in that case you will have to enable this option called as send on event okay well this option is only for the cases when you want this automation to run in real time but currently we are learning that how to send the whatsapp messages in bulk okay so if you want this automation to run in one go in bulk in that case you will have to enable this send all data option okay but we will enable this option in the last of the video when we are sure that our automation is working absolutely fine because as soon as we will enable that option the messages will start sending to all the customers okay so I'll show you everything step by step coming back to Pabli connected dashboard so the first step is done and now moving further I am planning to send the whatsapp messages so the application is already selected now I will select the action event that is send a message because currently I just want to send a basic basic message to my customers and just like we have connected google sheets and pabli connect now i am going to connect a ultra message application with the pabli connect for which it is asking for the instance id and the token okay so here i would recommend you to watch this video tutorial to understand how you can get the following details now i will take you directly to the ultra message dashboard here you will have to visit this instances section from the left hand sidebar now directly click on this green button that is add instances it is asking that are you sure so click on this confirm button and then it will show you a qr code okay so here you can notice it is saying that your instance is being prepared and the process may take few minutes please wait okay so we will wait for few seconds and then you will notice that a QR code will appear here okay so you can note notice that this instance is created clicking on this particular ID and here you will find the QR code okay so you will have to open your whatsapp web and then you will have to click on this linked device okay so here you can notice in this right hand side it is even showing the preview that how you will have to do the same 
click on this link devices and this is how as soon as you click on that button a QR code scanner will open up in this way you can scan this code and connect your WhatsApp with this ultra message okay so give me a second I will follow the same process as shown here in the right hand side in this particular video so here you can notice as soon as I have scanned my QR code it is showing me following things okay so here you can notice the paid version has no limits and in the free account you can send 100 messages per day okay and it is saying your phone doesn't need to stay online but your linked device will be locked out if you don't use your phone for over seven days okay so this is how you can log in it and now I'll show you how messages can be sent okay so coming back to public connect dashboard and it was asking for the instance id and token okay so by following that process we have actually received the instance id so let me copy the same and paste it here it is also asking for the qr code i'm sorry the token okay so again i'm going to copy this token and pasting it here clicking on save and this is how the ultra message application will be connected with the public connect all right and now it is asking that to whom you want to send the message basically we will add the phone number and the body basically we will come a message here and the prior priority I'm sorry for that okay so we want to send the whatsapp messages to the customer whose data is present in this spreadsheet and remember we have already captured the data into our previous step response okay and the interesting thing here is I'm not going to manually copy the phone number and paste it here basically I'm going to map this phone number and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down select that data and this is how the data the phone number will be mapped okay now you must be thinking that what is this mapping okay so whatever the details we will map in this way these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time in next time okay so I'm repeating this thing once again as soon as the new data is arrived from the spreadsheet that new data will replace this existing data okay so this is how this automation is going to take place and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation and as per the instruction I have also added this plus sign basically my country code that is plus nine one and after that a ten digit number okay asking for the body basically the content which you would like to send okay so here in order to save the time I have already composed a small message into the notepad okay so how about I directly copy and paste the same message and let me first correct the formatting of this particular message okay so hello customer name we are we are happy to announce you that we are opening a new branch of restaurant in Bhopal okay so the opening is on 12th of August and we will be offering a flat 20% off on food bills okay so enjoy the delicious food and thanks ABC restaurant okay and here I want that the name of the customer should appear here automatically so that is why again I'm going to map the name of the person which was dummy user okay so I have also composed my message and in the same way whatever the details you want to keep on changing automatically you can add that data via mapping and whatever the details you want to remain same you can add it manually okay asking for the priority okay so the messages with less priority value are sent first okay so for sending the non uh, urgent promotional offers and notification to your customers enter 10 for sending the general messages enter 5 okay so how about I add 5 here okay so I think I have added all the details and now I'll click on this button all right I actually forgot to replace that dummy number with my genuine number okay so let me do the same okay removing this and adding my own whatsapp number here okay so give me a second all right so for now I have added my phone number manually okay clicking on this button save and send test request and now waiting for the response to receive once again the response is received going back to my whatsapp web and here you can notice a message is already arrived and this is the message that is hello demo user we are happy to announce you that we are opening a new branch of our restaurant Bhopal the opening is on 12th of August and we will be offering a flat 20% off on food bills enjoy the delicious food thanks ABC restaurant team okay so did you notice that how the name of the customer appear here automatically okay so in this way by setting up an automation in 
reliably connect to for once you can automate the process of sending the whatsapp messages to your customers okay but here one more very important setting is left okay we have sent the message to only a single user only to the first row now i want that this automation should send the whatsapp message to all my customers basically the same message will be sent to all the customers only the details will be replaced automatically okay for that you will have to enable this option that is send all data okay let me show you as soon as you enable this option you will notice that the messages will be sent automatically in bulk to all the customers okay so going back to my whatsapp web and checking whether the messages are arriving or not remember because i have added my number only so that is why all the messages are actually arriving on my own number only and there are around 100 plus messages arrived on my whatsapp web okay so this is how with the help of pably connect you can entirely automate the process of sending the whatsapp messages in bulk to your customers directly from google sheets okay and just in case if you want to access this two step automation inside your own pably connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box so simply click on this link and then sign up for free into the pably connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own pably connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pably connect you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pably connect and for the latest updates of pably connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video